first of all, thank you all for uh, being here. And short turnaround from the time we notified you this morning to, to 1 o'clock, uh, and I appreciate it very, very much. It's a new day in Arkansas women's basketball. It started two weeks ago last night, and it's continued to, to go down that same path over the past 13 or 14 days. We have made tremendous progress in a lot of key areas uh, with, with my players, student athletes, uh, in recruiting, uh, in scheduling, and uh, very important in, in hiring, the hiring process of who I think, uh, who I know that I want beside me uh, on that bench, who I want beside me uh, every day with our student athletes. Uh, and I have had a ton, a ton of interest from across the country. I've interviewed a lot of folks uh, at the Final Four uh, a week ago. I've had a lot of phone interviews across the country. Uh, but one has clearly, clearly stood out to me uh, as who I want beside me as my top assistant when I'm the head coach at the University of Arkansas. Uh, Christy Smith was a four-time, a four-time honorable mention All-American here as a player. She led Arkansas to the Final Four. Uh, she was told in the recruiting process that she was too small to ever be a starter and effective player in the SEC. Well, she proved them wrong. Uh, she was the uh, best player on the best team we've ever had in the history of this program. Uh, she then uh, had a successful career in the WNBA before uh, injuries took her career uh, to a halt in that, in that side of it. And she poured herself into coaching immediately at the high school level in the state of Texas, which is very important to us right now uh, in recruiting. Uh, she then also uh, was an assistant coach and the recruiting coordinator at Valparaiso University in Indiana very strong basketball school. And for the past three years, she's been the assistant coach at Purdue, where they have gone to three straight uh, second round appearances in the NCAA. Uh, her resume is going to speak for itself. Uh, I don't think there's anyone out there in the women's game that I could have brought in uh, as my top assistant uh, that matches her in terms of a resume. Uh, I do know this. No one, no one that I spoke with matches her passion her pride, her love, and her fight for this university. She knows exactly what that uniform my student athletes have on right now means, better than I do, because she did it on the women's side. I did it on the men's side. So she brings a unique perspective to me. I told her that I'm putting together a staff uh, that I know uh, uh, they're going to be completely invested in these young ladies, just like I am and the rest of my staff is, uh, and she will quickly and my players will quickly understand the love that she's going to bring to this program. Uh, there's something about coming back to your alma mater. I experienced that. You young ladies will experience that someday in some form or fashion, I hope. Uh, but that's something that, that, that jumped out to me within the first 10 minutes that she and I visited in person uh, in Indiana. I want to thank Coach Versa and Purdue University uh, for all the years that they have poured into this young lady to get her ready for this, for this step up. Uh, she comes out of a winning tradition, a winning program that does things the right way, the way that I want to do them as well. She brings a ton of things to me. Uh, she and I both uh, got emotional at the Final Four talking about the University of Arkansas and the state of Arkansas and how important this is. And I'm putting around me, uh, I already have two of them, I'm putting around me a staff that when I walk out of that tunnel for the first time in November, I have fighters beside me. I have fighters on my staff. I have fighters on my team. That's who I want walking out of that tunnel with me. And that's the direction we're going to go. And I know I accomplished that with the hiring of Christy Smith. So I appreciate you being here. I wanted to take a few minutes to address you, open it up for questions. Uh, the Razorback Nation hit a home run today bringing Christy Smith back to the University of Arkansas. Goodness. I can't top that. <laughs> <laughs> thank I just want to um, thank Coach Sykes and Jeff Long for just giving me an opportunity to come back. Um, it's been 20 years since I signed on that line to be a Razorback, and I'm just excited that I have an opportunity to come back here. And when I met with Coach Sykes at the Final Four, um, his vision and his dream for what this can be uh, he sold me immediately. There was no question that I wanted to come back and that I wanted to build this program to where we're the top of the SEC. 
And there's not a doubt in my mind, and there's not a doubt in his mind that these young ladies can do it. So I'm thrilled to be here, and I can't wait to get started. And I think we're getting started here in a few minutes, so it'll be fun to watch him. She was also uh, very important, uh, the balance that she has in her life. She was a three-time SEC academic uh, honoree. Uh, she has her second degree. I had to write it down. I can't even pronounce it. That's how sharp she is. A master's <laughs> in biomechanics. She led the nation in free throw percentage, 89.9% in one of her seasons here. So she brings a wealth of experience in, in all the key areas for me. I believe in her just like I believe in Coach Cummings and Coach Shirey. I believe in her as a person above everything else. She, she, she blends perfectly with, with what I'm looking for and the people that I want around me every day. Uh, and I will, not, I, I will not miss on that. I know I will not miss on that. So uh, questions for myself or, or uh, Coach you Smith? You mentioned the top assistant. Does that mean like a coordinating a specific aspect of the game? Or you know what, she, she, yeah, she's going to be involved in every, in every area of this job. She's going to be involved in it. Her fingerprints will be on every area of it. Uh, Coach Cummings will continue to be my recruiting coordinator, uh, but she will be hands-on in every aspect of it. Uh, she's ready for that. That's what I need from her. That's the balance I need in my office when I'm, when I'm not in my office. So there's not one area of, of this job uh, that she's not going to have input in. Christy, obviously you guys had it going pretty good at Purdue. Arkansas struggled to win the SEC in recent years. What, and Indiana is your home state. Well, why leave Purdue to, to come here? Right. I actually grew up 10 minutes from Purdue, and my mom and dad still live there. And my brother and his wife and kids are all right there where I lived. So um, it is a big step, and it is a big leap of faith. But I believe it can be done. And like I said, um, when I sat down with Coach Dykes, um, my heart is here. This is where I played. Um, this is where blood, sweat, and tears were on the floor, and um, there's no other program in the country that I want to see succeed more than I do Arkansas. Yeah, when, when you signed her 20 years ago, Arkansas was just getting to the SEC, was kind of at the bottom, I think was coming off a 3-8. and eight. You, you played on two NCAA tournament teams, Final Four team. Does this feel at all, I mean, you're kind of taking a leap of faith, like you did that as a player, now you're kind of doing it again. Do you feel that way? Um, well, nobody wanted me when I was a player, so this is a little bit different. <laughs> mm. No, I, um, I wanted to play in the SEC when I was coming out of high school. So I knew the SEC was the best conference in the country, and that's what I wanted to go against. I wanted to go against the best day in and day out. Do you feel like you, you can help Jimmy get Arkansas back to where it was in the 90s? Without question, I know we will. You better answer that one right. <laughs> Chris, the SEC probably has only grown in stature, maybe tougher. Uh, as you've seen maybe other teams in this league in, in your time since, what do you see as the challenge of, of getting back up to that level when you were playing? Um, to me, and Coach Dykes also mentioned this when we were meeting, um, when somebody tells you something can't be done, that's when the light bulb comes on. And that's when it's like, all right, let's go. And so. I'm sure there's lots of people out there saying it can't be done, but I believe wholeheartedly that it will be done. Um, one of my favorite stories in the Bible is about David and Goliath, and there's a lot of giants in the SEC that are going to fall pretty soon here. Jim, who made the first call? <laughs> Jimmy, did, did you call Chris or did she call you? Who initiated? I, I, I called her. I, I, I called her. Um, uh, she was at the top of my list from, from day one. Uh, it's interesting, uh, one of my last assignments for ESPN was the women's NCAA tournament this year at Purdue. And so I got to watch her work before I even knew this job was going down. Uh, but I was anxious to watch her work because, you know, what, what she did here, I've known her of her as a person, so I've, I've seen her work. I've seen her handle sky reports. I've seen her conduct herself in the NCAA tournament. Uh, I, d I did my homework on her. And it, was, it, was, it, wasn't too, it wasn't too difficult to do, you know. Uh, Again, she's a, uh, her pride in being a Razorback is something that cannot, cannot be overstated in this process. Um, I, she's, she she will, will probably tell you it was a pretty uh, easy sell for her, but I, I felt like I had to recruit her just like I'm recruiting young ladies right now. I stole her from her home state. I stole her from, she grew up 10 minutes from that campus. She, she's as well known in, in Indiana as any former player that's ever come through that high school uh, program in the state of Indiana. So I, 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 I said, you're who I want, and she's who I got. And that's how, we're gonna, that's how we are all going to be in recruiting as well. Jimmy, what did you see as her strengths? I mean, just look at the resume. What, is her, what are her strengths? 
I think she's terrific as an X's and O's coach. I feel very confident with her sitting right beside me on the bench with, with, any, with any decision that needs to be made within the game, uh, the, the game pressure prep, prep, preparation, her scouting report that she delivered uh, in front of my eyes at the NCAA tournament that I was working for ESPN was as good as I've seen, as thorough as I've seen. Uh, I don't question her work ethic whatsoever. I don't, work, I don't question her character as a person in, in, any, in any form or fashion. Uh, and I certainly don't question her blood, sweat, and tears that she's going to put back into a uniform that she wore herself for four years. Yeah, Chris, when you played here, the attendance was, was real good. You know, Gary really sold the program. The attendance has been down. How aware are you of that, and how anxious are you to get, to get the attendance back up? Um, when Coach Blair was here, he did a great job of getting in the community and um, getting people to come support us. And that's huge when you're an athlete. You don't want to run out in the court and have 15 people in the stands clapping. That's, that's not fun. And that was one of the reasons I came here, too, because the attendance was the, people came to the women's game. So to me, I'm going to do as much as I can to get people to come watch and support these ladies. And I think the first time they watch them play and the level of intensity that they'll play at, They'll come back. Jimmy, one of the few criticisms you got when you got hired was that you hadn't coached the women's game. I mean, obviously, there's some differences. How does she help you in, in that regard? Or is that just a perception thing? Uh, no, it's, it's, it's not a perception thing. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm pulling constantly right now from Coach Shire and Coach Cummings about the women's game. I've got resources across the country that I continue to plug into every day. And now, now this is just another set of eyes for me, another set of ears for me. Uh, she, she's already get, made some, some terrific suggestions just in the four or five hours that she's been here with me. So um, I, I know the fact that I haven't been a head coach in the women's game uh, uh, continues to be something that's uh, thrown out there against me right now. And like I said in our press conference when I was introduced, if, if you're using that against me right now, when you play me, the pressure's on you. And that's how I still feel about it. Chris, what was your reaction when Jimmy got the job here? I was thrilled. Um, when he, he said that he came to the NCAA tournament to our game, and I was sitting in my office working on one of the scouting reports, and I look on my phone, and it says Jimmy Dykes. And I'm like, is that Jimmy Dykes? And I picked the phone up, and it sure enough was. <laughs> so um, it was neat to see him come to you know do the game at Purdue. I haven't seen him probably since, well, I see him on ESPN, but um, since he had, you know, since I'd been here at Arkansas. so. Um, we had talked a couple of times about the two teams that we were playing in, and um, when I saw that he got it, I was thrilled. I think he's a great choice for it, and I think he's going to do a great job of getting fans in the stands, and I think he's going to get these ladies on the right track. When you saw he got the job, did it immediately go into your head, hey, maybe I can go back to Arkansas? He said he called you, but what are you thinking about? I sent him a text saying congratulations. I'm so happy for you. That's awesome. Um, and he sent a text back and said, I'll call you in a couple of days. So, <laughs> Jimmy, does this complete your staff or what, what else have you got? I'm still working through it. Yeah, I'm still working through it. Uh, just making sure that I get the exact people in the right position. Uh, and hopefully by the end of this week, I'll have that all, all solidified. So, so there, there, there will be another hire? So. Uh, in, in, in some form or fashion, yes. I mean, we still have graduate assistants and things like that. So my complete staff, and in terms of how it's going to look in the finalized product, is not done yet. No, sir. Chris, did you, did you start immediately today, or did you hit the ground running or with this job, I mean? I do, yes. So there's still some things that we have to work out, but I'm sure that will happen here shortly, so. Uh, obviously, the recruiting signing period opens uh, Wednesday, I guess. What, uh, what are you looking for in that regard? And, yeah, uh, I'm under the impression right now, Dudley, to uh, to not just bring in a body, to bring in a body for numbers. For numbers, um, we're trying to win the SEC now, and I've got to get young ladies in this program that are capable of getting us to that level. So it's awfully, awfully late. You know, I was hired basically two and a half weeks before National Signing Day in the late period. So for something like that to to, to come across our path is. The odds aren't really good. Uh, we're, we're, we are searching. We were searching all, all since I've been hired. We met up there today, going, going through possibilities. Uh, so that's, that's still something that we're looking at. Uh, right now we have 12 young ladies on scholarship uh, for next year. One of the, one of the early signees, uh, the young lady from Bulgaria, asked for her release. We released her. 
um, a few days ago or last week after I got the job and had a chance to digest everything. So the two young ladies join us, uh, joining these 10 in front of me right now from the state of Texas, uh, they're in and we'll go from there. If, if we go into next season with a 12 on scholarship, I will walk out of that tunnel for the first time with 12 kids that are ready to fight. I know that. If it's 13, it'll be 13. So I'm not, I, I, I'm not uh, gonna, I'm not going through the hiring process or the recruiting process. What's best for me for the first five months? It's what's best for me for the first five years on this job. Tracy, when did you uh, formally accept the job? What's today? Today's Monday. Today's Monday. Is it Friday or Saturday? Yeah. It was either Friday or Saturday. I think it was Friday or Saturday. So you guys talked to Nashville, and then you, you went to Indiana too? No, I, I went to Nashville for the Final Four. We, we visited there. You were there for the games. Right? Yes, for the Final Four games, yes. That, that's where we met in person for the first time, and I've just continued that conversation with her. Uh, that, that was just last weekend. So the, over the course of all last week, um, you know, it's not – you can't just make a hire and over the phone. you got to go through the process. and. You know, make sure we agreed on the numbers and the contract and all those things. Uh, so I think it was finalized Friday. I wanted her to have a chance to tell her team at Purdue first. I thought that was very, very important because she's poured herself into those young ladies. Uh, she did. She did that last night. It was up at three o'clock this morning uh, in West Lafayette. Uh, drove to the Indianapolis airport. Caught a flight at six through Atlanta. Arrived at 9:30. I tweeted a picture of her coming down the escalator, welcoming her back to Arkansas. And we've been in that office since about 10:15, uh, going at it. So. And how many, how many people did, did you consider? I mean, how many people did you honestly talk to about the job? For her position, I, I've sat down with face-to-face uh, -face probably uh, 10, 10 different ones face-to-face, -face, and numerous on the phone, num numerous on the phone. Rich, I saw that your Twitter picture. Are you, looks like you, are you guys getting ready to go surf? Or what, what, what's the deal with it? <laughs> I took my kids on vacation to San Diego last summer, and so yes, I told them they could surf. And I had no idea if they'd like it or not, but they loved it. And I ended up spending a ton of money on it too, because they <laughs> had to do surf lessons. So that's not me in the picture. I'm taking the picture, but that's the surf guy at the front. I don't remember his name, but they loved it. They were good. I was bad. Okay, I didn't know what was going on there. Yeah. <laughs>